Hello happy people Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you how to change your blog layout from this using the Astra's default blog layout to this one whereby you have actually a highlighted post and a post like this or post listing like this or blog archive posts like this with actually a date a highlight over here and actually when your blog post paste up just like this and having the read more options and looking just amazingly organized like this one. Let's dive straight in. To get started, the number one thing you should have is called Astra Pro, which is actually an add-on for Astra, the free theme. And the Astra Pro actually comes with a number of modules that you can actually use to extend the functionality of your Astra uh, free theme. Now, in this case, it comes with uh, colors, typography, spacing, mobile headers, sticky headers, and a lot more. But today we are going to look into only the Blog Pro, which actually gives you the ability to make customizations to, to this level even more. Now, when we come over here to the customizer, you come straight to the blog option when you open up the customizer and you come directly to the blog archive. And under the blog archive, we can make a couple of changes. But the very number one thing we can do is we can choose how many columns we want to show up on our website now in this case we can say one column and if we choose one column it means that this column these two columns down here will not show up so we'll only have one column of the content and boom this is what is showing up right here the other thing is that we can choose to have a number of like maybe three columns or four but in this case i prefer to have two columns and then we can also choose to have whether the text is starting on the left hand and the image is appearing on the right hand so let me show you how that looks like when i switch over here you realize down here that actually the content is starting from the left hand and the image is appearing on the other hand and the same uh, for this other layout right here so that goes back to how you want to style it up or you may simply be using this same layout and you basically reduce on the exact text that is appearing with the blog post on the blog archive page. Just like this one over here, if we reduce the excerpt to let me say 10 words, you realize that it will appear in this kind of organization, including having a read more or something like that. Now, on the other hand, if you don't want to have such a layout, we can come back to our single blog post or the default one, and we can choose to have two columns, and then we can also add spacing between the blog posts. What does that mean? When I disable this, you realize that there won't be space between these two blog posts, okay? Now, when you enable this, you realize you'll have a gray kind of background over here, and then you'll have space between them. Then we can enable a totally different layout whereby these blog posts are switched depending on the size from one blog post to another. But in this case, let me first increase also the exact test. Let me take it to about 45, okay, something like that. And now here, actually, I think it brings out the real image. You see this kind of organization. Now, when I switch off this layout here, realize that they will be kind of in a sequential or column order right here. Now, the other thing is that you can highlight a blog post, which I've already done over here, which is the newest blog post. So when I disable that, you realize that all blog posts will line up right from the start just here like this. But in this case, I want someone, when they come to read our blog post, they immediately see the latest blog post has highlighted just something like this and then here we can enable the date box the date box is this one over here now when i disable that date box you are going to see that we don't have anything over here now when i enable the date box look at that over there boom it shows up over here and we can choose between a square or even a circle uh, styling for our date box just like this and we can even remove the featured image uh, now I'm going to show you just down here image padding now when I put it back look at this you see now the padding is on and here we have removed the featured image padding which actually looks a little bit more neater now the content width we can use a default one or we can simply specify a custom width for our content and all that goes back to how you're designing your website and how you want your layout to show up and then the post structure in our blog archive page we can choose to have the title appearing as number one and the featured image comes next 
by switching over these two over here. See, title coming number one and the featured image come next. And then the other thing you can also set up your meta comments and all that stuff in any way that you want. And if you want also to display the published date, you simply enable it over there. And of course, it will be showing over here the published date over there. But in this case, I want to keep the featured image coming first and then the title coming next over there. Now, when you scroll down over here to the post content, we can choose to show the excerpt or we can simply use the full content uh, to appear on our blog archive page. But it wouldn't make any sense if we are showing up the full content on a blog archive page that is based on the single blog post. Here we can choose to show how much excerpt text that we want to show over here on an archive page and that goes back to what you want it can be 10 it can be 40 it can be 60 all that stuff so on the other hand you can choose to also indicate or show a read more or you can even change that text to any text that you want over here let me say uh, continue something like that and then you can uh, add something like this Okay. And then you can also say uh, display read more as a button. So by enabling that, then you actually see here a button. See how that looks like. And then the featured image, you can set it to be a specific size of the featured image that you want to display, or you can simply leave it to be automatic to show up there. Then you can enable the pagination. The pagination will appear right down here, only if you have more than 10 blog posts. Unfortunately for this tutorial, I don't have uh, over 10 blog posts. In total, there are about nine, so my pagination option won't show up right down here. But of course, you have the option to either choose between numbers or an infinite scroll. Now, the infinite scroll means that someone will be able to scroll through the page as the posts are loading up. If you have 100 blog posts, of course, your post will be showing up right here as you scroll until the very last one. And then the post pagination style, you can use a square, you can use a circle to all what you want. Then the other interesting part is that you can actually change the archive title and the post title. Now, look at how this looks like. For example, you can change the size of this and say instead of 40, maybe 130. So on the other hand, you can also make some changes to the typography to the archive title and the post title here in the archive template of your WordPress blog posts. So in a nutshell, that's how you can customize your blog archive pages using the Astra Pro blog option or add-on actually that can enable you to achieve all this that will help you let me first update over here now when i update this side you basically see the different changes that actually the astra pro add-on will help you to move from this kind of layout to actually move to this other kind of interesting and customly made or designed layout by you Thank you so much for watching. In case you have any questions, comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. And in case you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when I push it out. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.